high there. I'm going to guess your height. Mm, I guess that you are five foot seven. Now, maybe I got it right and you are five foot seven, or maybe you're not. But the chances that you watching this video are five foot seven is pretty high because five foot seven is roughly the average height of all American adults. Now, for every inch taller or shorter than five foot seven, the probability that I have guessed your height correctly becomes less because five foot seven is the average. Now, if I guess five foot eight, slightly fewer people are that high. Five foot nine is slightly less. Five foot ten, less again. And the chances of you being, say, seven foot tall is extremely unlikely. We can map the height of American adults using what's called a probability curve. A probability curve shows the distribution of a particular value in a population. So, for example, the height of all adult Americans. The closer you are to the middle, the closer you are to the average. And as you move away from the average, the probability of that value becomes lower. Now, a normal distribution curve shows us that most balls are going to land in the middle. The chances of a ball landing further away from the middle become smaller and smaller. So you can see less balls at the far ends of the curve. Balls are dropped from the top and they fall down to the bottom. If there was no bars in the middle, they would all fall straight down and land in a big stack in the middle. But these bars here introduce elements of randomness. As the ball falls, it hits the bars and bounces in different directions. The chances that it will bounce all the way to the left are quite low. The chances that it will bounce all the way to the right are also quite low. So there's not very many balls there. But the chances that it will bounce left, right, left, right and land somewhere in the middle are very high. And you can see how many balls land in the middle. This is called Galton's probability curve. The shape of this curve is often called a bell curve because it looks kind of like a bell. So using the example of height, the chances that you'll be five foot seven is right here. And lots of people fall pretty close to five foot seven. But as you get taller or shorter than the average, the chances that you'll be that height become less. Being able to calculate probability is really important in certain fields like gambling, public health and insurance. We don't know if you are going to crash your car this year, but insurance companies know roughly how many people will crash their car. The insurance companies use probability curves to calculate the risk of insuring you and figure out how much to charge for your premiums.